The nebula dancer sliced through the cosmos, its sleek, silver hull reflecting the distant stars like a mirror to the heavens. Jackson, the vessel's pilot and captain, maneuvered with practiced ease, his eyes scanning the sprawling aerial spaceport that loomed ahead. A marvel of engineering, the port resembled a colossal hive, alive with the comings and goings of countless spacecraft. Jackson's grip on the controls tightened as he approached, the vast structure dwarfing his ship. The spaceport was a vertical maze of docks and platforms teeming with activity. Ships of all shapes and sizes clung to the sides like metallic barnacles, while a ballet of elevators and gravity tubes wove between them, ferrying passengers and cargo. Finding a spot to land was akin to threading a needle while riding a tempest. Jackson keyed his comms, his voice steady. Nebula dancer to control, requesting docking coordinates. A crackle of static preceded the controller's response. Nebula Dancer, proceed to dock 47A. Be advised, traffic is heavy. Maintain caution. Jackson acknowledged with a curt nod even though the controller couldn't see him. Dock 47A was notorious for its challenging approach, a narrow berth sandwiched between two bustling trade lanes. Perfect, he thought grimly, just what I need. As the Nebula Dancer descended, Jackson's view was filled with the chaotic ballet of the spaceport. Ships danced in a delicate choreography of arrivals and departures, their paths intertwining yet never colliding. The air was filled with a symphony of engine roars, mechanical whirs, and the distant hum of conversation. The proximity alarms blared suddenly, snapping Jackson's attention to a small cargo drone that had strayed too close. With a deft flick of the controls, he avoided collision, the drone buzzing away like an admonished insect. Too close, he muttered, his heart skipping a beat. Finally, Dock 47A came into view, a sliver of space that seemed to mock him with its narrowness. Jackson's hands moved with precision, guiding the nebula dancer into the dock. The ship's thrusters pulsed gently, easing the vessel into place with a grace that belied its size. No sooner had the landing gear locked into place than Jackson was on his feet, striding towards the cargo hold. Time was of the essence. The mysterious cargo secured in the hold was not only valuable but perilously sought after. Jackson's mission was clear, deliver the cargo to its destination before it fell into the wrong hands. As he checked the cargo's containment field, ensuring its stability, Jackson couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. He glanced over his shoulder, his gaze piercing the shadows. The spaceport was a nexus of intrigue and danger. Eyes were always lurking. Shaking off the unease, Jackson focused on the task at hand. The mission was straightforward, but the stakes were high. Failure was not an option. With the final check of the cargo, he sealed the hold and made his way to the cockpit, ready to navigate the complex politics and perils of the aerial spaceport. The Nebula Dancer, a mere speck in the grand tapestry of the spaceport, was now at the heart of a story that would unravel across the stars, a tale of courage, intrigue, and the unyielding pursuit of a mission that could alter the course of worlds. In the quieter outskirts of the spaceport, Jackson led his crew to a secluded hangar, a hidden gem amidst the steel and concrete jungle. This oasis, brimming with lush exotic plants and the soothing melody of a cascading waterfall, provided a stark contrast to the mechanical chaos outside. It was here, in this serene enclave, that Jackson had arranged to meet his crew and discuss the mission at hand. As they gathered, the diversity of Jackson's team was evident. Kira, a Zentari with her sleek, cobalt blue skin and luminescent tattoos, was engrossed in her holographic displays, her fingers dancing across the virtual interfaces with expert precision. Beside her stood Torque, a towering figure of steel and circuits, his robotic frame humming softly, the gentle giant of their group. Jackson cleared his throat, drawing the attention of his crew. We've got a big task ahead of us, he began, his tone serious yet encouraging. The cargo we're carrying, he gestured to the sealed documents on the table before them, is more than just a package. It's hope, a terraforming device capable of bringing dead planets back to life. Murmurs of awe and curiosity filled the room as the crew leaned in, the gravity of their mission dawning on them. Kira, always the strategist, was the first to break the silence. The implications are enormous, Jackson. But so are the risks. 
if the wrong people get their hands on this. Jackson nodded, acknowledging her concerns. Exactly why we need to be smart, fast, and discreet. There are those who would kill to control such power. The room fell silent, the weight of their responsibility hanging heavy in the air. It was Tork who finally spoke, his voice a deep, synthesized rumble. We will protect the mission, Jackson. You have my word. Grateful for the unwavering loyalty of his crew, Jackson unfolded a star map, pinpointing their rude and potential hazards. Our first stop is the Gaia Cluster. We'll use the asteroid belt for cover, minimizing our exposure. Kira nodded, her mind already racing with calculations and countermeasures. I'll start working on the stealth protocols. We'll need every advantage we can get. As the meeting drew to a close, the crew dispersed, each member lost in thought about the journey ahead. Jackson lingered, his gaze falling on the tranquil beauty of the hangar. This oasis was a stark reminder of what they were fighting for, a chance to create new worlds, new beginnings. With a determined stride, Jackson returned to the Nebula Dancer, the mission's importance burning in his heart. The path ahead was fraught with danger, but the promise of new life, of planets reborn, fueled his resolve. The Nebula Dancer, once a mere vessel of metal and circuits, now carried the seeds of the future within its hold. And Jackson, with his diverse crew of dreamers and warriors, was ready to defend that future against any who dared to threaten it. The journey through the stars was not just a mission, it was a crusade for life itself. The stars outside the Nebula Dancer's viewport streaked past as the ship made its way through the cosmos, its course set for the Gaia Cluster. Inside, the atmosphere was one of focused anticipation, each crew member attending to their duties with a silent fervor. Jackson, ever vigilant, navigated through the sea of stars, his thoughts never straying far from the mission's critical nature. A scheduled rendezvous point neared, a seemingly inconspicuous sector within the vast emptiness of space, marked only by a lone, derelict space station, its purpose long forgotten. It was here that Jackson had agreed to meet with an old ally, Captain Varick, for what was supposed to be a simple exchange of information and resources. As the Nebula Dancer approached, the derelict station loomed like a ghostly specter, its shadow swallowing the ship as they docked. Varric's ship, the Corsair's Dagger, was already there, docked with an air of menacing grace. Jackson and his crew were greeted by Varric, his charismatic smile belying the sharp intelligence in his eyes. Jackson, my old friend, he exclaimed, extending his hand. It's been too long. The pleasantries, however, were short-lived. As they retreated to a dimly lit chamber of the station for privacy, Varric's demeanor shifted. The room, cold and suffused with a low hum, felt suddenly oppressive as Varric turned, his silhouette framed against the dim light. Jackson, he began, his voice no longer warm, you've always been a man of ambition. But this, this terraforming device you're ferrying across the stars, it's a game changer. Jackson's hand instinctively went to the blaster at his side, sensing the shift. What are you getting at, Varric? Varric's smile was cold, predatory. I'm saying, old friend, that your cargo would be better off in my hands. The betrayal stung, a visceral wound that cut deeper than any blade. Varric, whom Jackson had trusted, fought beside, was now a threat, his true intentions laid bare. Before Jackson could react, Varric's crew emerged from the shadows, weapons drawn. A tense standoff ensued, the air crackling with the electricity of impending conflict. It was Kira who broke the silence, her voice calm, collected. You don't have to do this, Varric. Think of the lives this device could save. Varric's laughter echoed hollowly in the chamber. Save? No, my dear, this device will grant me power, control over barren worlds. And I'll start with yours. The situation was dire. Outnumbered and outgunned, Jackson and his crew faced an impossible choice. But it was Torque who acted his frame surging forward with surprising speed. With a display of strength and precision, he created a diversion, allowing Jackson and the others to retreat. Back aboard the Nebula Dancer, hearts racing, they detached from the station and fled into the void. Varek's betrayal had cut deep, but it had also ignited a fire within them, a burning resolve to protect the device at all costs. 
As the Nebula Dancer hurtled through space, Jackson's mind raced. The mission was no longer just about delivery, it was personal. Varric had shown his true colors and now it was a race against time with the fate of countless worlds hanging in the balance. The Nebula Dancer surged through the cosmos, its engines pushed to their limits as Jackson steered the ship into the heart of an asteroid field. The move was risky, the field dense with tumbling rocks, each a potential harbinger of destruction. But it was necessary a desperate bid to shake off Varric and his crew, who were hot on their trail. Behind them, the Corsair's dagger weaved through space with predatory grace, its advanced sensors picking their way through the asteroid field with alarming efficiency. Varric was relentless, his ship armed and dangerous, a stark reminder of the peril Jackson and his crew now faced. Kira's fingers flew over her console, her brilliant mind working over time to navigate the hazardous terrain. Hold tight, she warned, her voice a calm beacon amidst the chaos. It's going to get rough. Jackson nodded, his focus unwavering as he piloted the ship through a particularly dense cluster of asteroids. The Nebula Dancer danced between the rocks, its hull mirror meters from catastrophic impact, showcasing Jackson's unparalleled skills as a pilot. Torque, ever stoic, monitored the ship's systems, ensuring their integrity amidst the relentless barrage of debris. His synthetic voice broke the tense silence. Hull integrity at 92%. Shields holding. The chase was a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, the asteroid field their arena. With each daring maneuver, Jackson hoped to lose Varric, to emerge from the other side with the terraforming device still in their possession. Suddenly, a massive asteroid loomed ahead, its surface scarred and pitted. Jackson's eyes narrowed as he devised a plan. Kira, ready the aft thrusters. On my mark. Kira nodded, understanding his intent. As they neared the asteroid, Jackson shouted, now, and executed a sharp turn. The Nebula Dancer's engines flared, propelling it around the asteroid in a tight arc. Varric, caught off guard by the sudden maneuver, struggled to adjust his course. The Corsair's dagger grazed the asteroid, its shield sparking upon impact. It was the break Jackson had hoped for, a momentary lapse that allowed them to widen the gap. With the Corsair's dagger momentarily stalled, Jackson seized the opportunity, pushing the Nebula Dancer to its limits. The asteroid field began to thin, the promise of open space beyond like a beacon of hope. As they emerged from the field, the vastness of space stretched out before them, a tapestry of darkness and light. Jackson allowed himself a brief moment of relief, but he knew the respite would be short-lived. Varric was not one to give up easily, and the chase was far from over. Kira turned to Jackson, her expression a mix of admiration and concern. That was some flying, Jackson. But we're not out of the woods yet. Varric won't stop until he has what he wants. Jackson's jaw set in determination. Then we'll just have to make sure he never gets it. We've got a mission to complete, and I intend to see it through no matter what Varric throws our way. The crew of the Nebula Dancer, united in purpose, set their sights on the horizon. The chase had begun, but they were ready. Ready to face whatever dangers lay ahead, to protect the device that held the key to new life, new worlds. The journey ahead would be fraught with peril, but they were resolute. For they were not just carriers of cargo, they were guardians of hope. After evading Varric in the asteroid field, Jackson directed the Nebula Dancer towards a less-traveled expanse of space, a region known for its swirling cosmic storms and unpredictable spatial anomalies. It was a place most spacefarers avoided, but for Jackson and his crew it offered a temporary respite, a chance to regroup and plan their next move. As they navigated through this tumultuous region, the ship's sensors picked up an unexpected signal, a faint beacon emanating from within the heart of a nearby nebula. Curiosity peaked, Jackson made the decision to investigate, despite the risks. The signal could be a trap, but it could also be an opportunity. Within the nebula, visibility was near zero, the ship's lights barely piercing the swirling mists of cosmic dust and gas. The signal, however, grew stronger, guiding them to a hidden pocket of calm amidst the storm. There, they discovered the source of the signal, a small fleet of ships unlike any they had seen before. Sleek and organic in design, 
These vessels seem to blend seamlessly with the nebula itself, their hulls reflecting the swirling patterns of the gas cloud. As they approached, a communication channel opened and a voice, soft yet resonant, filled the nebula dancer's cockpit. Strangers, you venture far from the known paths. What brings you to our sanctuary? Jackson responded with cautious diplomacy, explaining their mission and the relentless pursuit of Varric. To his surprise, the voice expressed a keen interest in the terraforming device and its potential to create new homes among the stars. The voice belonged to Lyra, the leader of the space nomads, a people who had adapted to life in the vastness of space, their culture and technology intertwined with the cosmos itself. Intrigued by Jackson's tale and moved by the potential of the terraforming device, Lyra offered her people's aid. The nomads, skilled in stealth and survival in the most inhospitable regions of space, proposed a partnership. They would help Jackson and his crew evade Varek's forces and reach their destination in exchange for the promise that the terraforming technology would be used to create a new world for the nomads. Jackson, recognizing the value of their offer and the strength in unity, agreed to the alliance. The nomads, with their intimate knowledge of the nebula and its hidden paths, guided the nebula dancer through a labyrinth of cosmic currents and eddies, masking their trail from any who might follow. As they journeyed together, a bond formed between the crew of the nebula dancer and the nomads. Kira, fascinated by the nomads' technology, worked alongside them to enhance the ship's stealth capabilities. Torque, meanwhile, found kinship in the nomads' deep connection to the cosmos, their way of life resonating with his own search for purpose beyond his programming. The alliance with the nomads breathed new life into Jackson's mission, providing not just a means to evade Varric, but also a glimpse into the potential futures the terraforming device could unlock. Worlds not just reborn, but created anew, offering sanctuary to those who, like the nomads, had long wandered the stars. As the Nebula Dancer and the Nomad fleet emerged from the Nebula, their path forward was clear, their resolve strengthened by their shared vision. Together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead, their unlikely alliance a testament to the power of unity in the face of adversity. With the guidance of the Nomads, the Nebula Dancer journeyed through less-traveled star lanes, weaving through the tapestry of the cosmos towards their destination. The time spent in transit was not idle, it became a period of discovery and deepening bonds, especially as the crew turned their attention to the terraforming device that had become the crux of their mission. In the quiet of the ship's lab, Jackson, Kira, and the Nomad's lead scientist, a brilliant thinker named Elian, gathered around the device. It was more than just a machine. It was a marvel of bioengineering and quantum mechanics, encased in a shell of shimmering metal that pulsed with an inner light. As they delved into its workings, they uncovered something extraordinary. The device was not merely a tool but a repository of consciousness. The mind within was that of its creator, an ancient alien scientist named Ilera, whose life's work had been the reclamation of dead worlds. Ilera's consciousness, preserved in the device, was initially disoriented, her thoughts fragmented after centuries of dormancy. But with Kira's expertise and the Nomad's unique technology, they established a stable communication channel with her. Ilera spoke of her past, of worlds reborn under her guidance, and of her decision to imbue the device with her consciousness to oversee its mission beyond her physical lifetime. Her voice, though emanating from a machine, was imbued with passion and a profound sense of purpose. The revelation of Ilera's presence within the device transformed the mission for Jackson and his crew. It was no longer just about delivering a piece of technology. It was about fulfilling a legacy, a promise to bring life to barren stones floating in the dark. The crew's discussions with Ilera also brought to light the ethical implications of their mission. Terraforming, Ilera explained, was not just a scientific endeavor, but a deeply moral one. It was about creating, yes, but also about respecting the cosmos and the intricate web of life that spanned its vast expanse. Jackson, deeply moved by Ilera's vision, pledged to see the mission through, not just for the sake of the nomads or to spite Varric, but to honor the dream of a scientist who had reached across the ages to sow life among the stars. As the Nebula Dancer continued its journey, the device, now affectionately referred to as Ilera,
became a beacon of hope and a reminder of the mission's true purpose. The crew, united by their shared commitment to this cause, pressed on, their resolve unshaken by the challenges that lay ahead. The knowledge and perspective gained from Ilera not only strengthened their determination, but also deepened the bond between them and their nomad allies. Together, they stood at the threshold of a new era, ready to breathe life into worlds that had known only silence, to write a new chapter in the saga of the cosmos. The journey through space brought the Nebula Dancer and its allies closer to their destination, a desolate moon orbiting a forgotten planet, chosen as the site for the first demonstration of the terraforming device's capabilities. This barren rock, devoid of atmosphere and life, was about to become the cradle of a new beginning, a testament to Ilera's vision and the crew's unwavering resolve. As they entered the moon's orbit, the anticipation aboard the Nebula Dancer was palpable. The crew and their nomad allies prepared for the historic moment, unaware that Varric, fueled by obsession and greed, had not abandoned his pursuit. Using covert tracking methods, he had trailed them, biding his time for the perfect moment to strike. The ambush was sudden and brutal. Varric's ship, the Corsair's Dagger, along with a small fleet of hired mercenaries, emerged from the shadow of the moon, weapons primed and ready. They had waited for the Nebula Dancer to commit to its landing, making escape a near impossibility. Jackson, realizing the gravity of their situation, issued a rapid series of commands, preparing his crew for the inevitable confrontation. Battle stations, he called out, his voice a calm command amidst the rising tide of tension. Kira and the Nomads worked feverishly to raise the ship's shields and power up the defensive systems, while Tork, ever the protector, positioned himself to safeguard the terraforming device at all costs. The battle that ensued was fierce and unforgiving. Varex mercenaries, seasoned fighters all, launched a relentless barrage against the Nebula Dancer and its allies. The Nomad ships, agile and elusive, danced through the chaos, their unconventional tactics disrupting the attackers' formations. In the midst of the fray, a Nomad vessel, piloted by Elian, executed a daring maneuver to draw fire away from the Nebula Dancer. The move, while successful, came at a cost. Elian's ship, struck by a direct hit, careened towards the moon's surface, a trail of fire marking its descent. The loss was a heavy blow felt deeply by all who witnessed it. Elian, the brilliant scientist and newfound friend, had sacrificed himself for the mission for the promise of a future he would never see. With the battle turning in their favor, thanks to the Nomad's sacrifice and the crew's determination, Jackson seized the moment to turn the tables on Varek. A cunning feint drew the Corsair's dagger into the open, exposing it to a concentrated attack that crippled its engines leaving Varek and his remaining forces to retreat in disarray. The aftermath of the ambush left the Nebula Dancer and its allies battered but not broken. The crew mourned the loss of Elian, honoring his memory and the choice he made to protect the mission above all else. As they regrouped, Jackson and his crew turned their attention to the task at hand. The terraforming device, still secure and undamaged, was ready to be deployed. In the silence that followed the battle, they initiated the activation sequence, a silent tribute to Elian and all those who had sacrificed for this moment. The device, under Ilera's guidance, began its work, its mechanisms humming with life as it tapped into the moon's core, initiating the complex process of terraformation. The crew, watching from the safety of the Nebula Dancer, bore witness to the birth of an atmosphere, the genesis of water, and the first stirrings of life on a world that had known only death. In the face of loss and adversity, they had prevailed, the dream of terraforming no longer a distant hope but a tangible reality. The dead moon, now teeming with potential, stood as a testament to their courage, a beacon of life in the vast wilderness of space. The aftermath of the ambush at the Dead Moon left the crew of the Nebula Dancer and their nomad allies in a somber mood. The moon's surface, now showing the first signs of life, stood as a bittersweet testament to their success and the sacrifices made to achieve it. The loss of Elian, a beacon of wisdom and innovation, weighed heavily on their hearts, serving as a stark reminder of the stakes involved in their mission. In the quiet that followed their victory, the crew gathered to honor Elian's memory. 
Amidst the nascent atmosphere of the transformed moon, they shared stories of his bravery and the moments that had defined their journey together. It was a time of reflection, of acknowledging the cost of their endeavor, but also of reinforcing their resolve to see it through. Jackson, deeply affected by the events, recognized the need for a new strategy. Varek's relentless pursuit and the dangers they had already faced underscored the vulnerability of their mission. We can't keep running, Jackson stated, his voice firm with conviction. It's time we take control of this chase. Kira, inspired by Elian's ingenuity, proposed a plan that played to their strengths. We use the spaceport's complex environment to our advantage, she suggested, her mind racing with possibilities. The bustling traffic, the dense layout, it could provide the cover we need to set a trap for Varek. The nomads, now even more invested in the mission's success, offered their intimate knowledge of the less charted areas of space. There are regions, not far from here, where cosmic phenomena could mask our approach, Lyra added, her voice tinged with the resolve born of loss. We could lure Varek into a place where his technological advantages would be nullified. The plan was daring, a high-stakes game of deception and cunning that required precise execution. They would return to the spaceport, blending in with the myriad of ships and using the chaotic energy of the place to obscure their movements. Meanwhile, the nomads would use their stealth capabilities to set up the trap in a nearby nebula where spatial anomalies were known to disrupt sensor readings and communication signals. Torque, ever the stalwart defender, took on the responsibility of safeguarding the terraforming device. I will ensure its safety, he declared, his mechanical voice resonating with an almost human-like determination. Elian's sacrifice will not be in vain. As they set their plan into motion, the crew felt a renewed sense of purpose. The sorrow of their loss had been transformed into a catalyst for action, a driving force that propelled them forward. Each member of the team, from Jackson to the newest Nomad ally, understood the role they had to play in the intricate dance that was to come. The return to the spaceport was executed with meticulous care, the nebula dancer slipping into the flow of traffic like a needle threading its way through fabric. The bustling energy of the port, once overwhelming, now served as the perfect camouflage for their operations. In the nebula, the nomads worked with precision and stealth, setting up the parameters of the trap that would ensnare Varek. Their ships, silent shadows against the backdrop of cosmic light, were the unseen guardians of the mission's final gambit. As the pieces of their plan fell into place, Jackson felt a cautious optimism. They had turned their vulnerabilities into strengths, their losses into lessons that shaped their path forward. The stage was set for the final confrontation, a battle not just of ships and weapons, but of wits and wills. The crew of the Nebula Dancer, united in their purpose and strengthened by their bonds, stood ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. They were no longer just fugitives or couriers, they were the architects of their destiny, the defenders of a vision that reached beyond the stars. The spaceport, a bustling hub of activity, served as the backdrop for the final act of Jackson and his crew's journey. Amidst the throng of ships and the cacophony of interstellar commerce, the Nebula Dancer moved with purpose, its crew ready to bring their plan to fruition. Jackson, Kira, and the Nomads, now in constant communication, coordinated their movements with precision. The spaceport's dense traffic and complex infrastructure provided the perfect cover, allowing them to maneuver unnoticed. They had become phantoms within the chaos, unseen yet ever-present. Varek, driven by obsession and the promise of power the terraforming device held, took the bait. His ship, the Corsair's Dagger, slipped into the spaceport, its sensors scouring the area for any sign of the Nebula Dancer. Unaware of the trap laid out for him, Varek moved deeper into the web woven by Jackson and his allies. The moment of confrontation was imminent. Jackson, from the cockpit of the Nebula Dancer, watched as the pieces of their carefully orchestrated plan came together. It's time, he whispered a steely resolve in his voice. Kira, her fingers dancing across her console, initiated the first phase of their trap. A series of false signals erupted across the spaceport's communication channels, creating a labyrinth of phantom ships and ghostly echoes that disoriented Varek's sensors. 
Meanwhile, in the nebula, the nomads activated the devices they had planted, amplifying the spatial anomalies that fringed the area. The resulting maelstrom of disrupted space-time created a barrier that severed Varek's communication lines, isolating him from his mercenaries. Varek, realizing too late the trap he had fallen into, found his ship ensnared by the very chaos he had sought to exploit. The Corsair's Dagger, its advanced systems confounded by the barrage of false signals and spatial distortions, became a sitting duck. Jackson seized the opportunity. With a nod to Torque, who stood ready to defend the terraforming device, he guided the Nebula Dancer towards the Corsair's Dagger. The final confrontation would not be a battle of firepower but a duel of captains, a clash of wills fought in the shadow of the spaceport. As the two ships faced off, a silence fell over the crew of the Nebula Dancer. This was the moment of truth, the culmination of their journey, their struggles, and their sacrifices. Jackson opened a communication channel, his voice calm and clear as it reached Varric. Varric, this ends now. Your pursuit, your obsession, has brought nothing but destruction. Stand down and let us complete our mission. Varric, cornered and defeated, faced a choice. His ship crippled, his forces scattered, he could continue to fight, risking everything on a futile bid for power, or he could concede, preserving what remained of his pride and his crew. The tense standoff lasted what felt like an eternity, the fate of the mission, the terraforming device, and countless worlds hanging in the balance. Then, in a decision that would mark the end of his pursuit, Varric relented. The Corsair's dagger powered down its weapons, a silent signal of surrender. Jackson, his crew, and their nomad allies had prevailed. Through ingenuity, unity, and unwavering determination, they had overcome the odds, thwarting Varric's ambitions and securing the future of their mission. As the Corsair's dagger retreated, a cheer erupted aboard the Nebula Dancer. They had won, not through brute force, but through the strength of their convictions and the bonds that united them. The terraforming device and the promise it held was safe. The final confrontation had ended not with a battle, but with a testament to the power of cooperation and the enduring spirit of those who dared to dream of a better future. The crew of the Nebula Dancer, together with their nomad allies, had written their own chapter in the Annals of Space, a story of courage, friendship, and the indomitable will to bring life to the stars. The Nebula Dancer hovered in orbit above the newly transformed moon, its surface now teeming with the first signs of life. The crew, gathered at the observation deck, watched in silent reverence as verdant patches of vegetation spread across the barren landscape, a vivid testament to their journey's end. Jackson stood among them, his gaze fixed on the thriving world below. The weight of the captaincy, the burden of the chase, and the specter of conflict had lifted, replaced by a profound sense of accomplishment. Beside him, Kira and Torque shared in the moment, their expressions a mix of relief and wonder. The nomads, their ships aligned with the Nebula Dancer, joined in the observation, their ethereal voices mingling with the crew's quiet conversations. Lyra, her image transmitted to the deck, spoke words of gratitude and hope. Together, we have turned the tide of desolation. This moon is a beacon, a promise of what we can achieve when we stand united. The ceremony was simple yet profound, a moment to honor those who had sacrificed and to celebrate the dawn of a new era. Jackson, stepping forward, addressed his crew and their allies. Today, we have not only transformed a world but also redefined our purpose in the cosmos. This is not the end of our journey but the beginning of a greater mission. The terraforming device, now silent, had served its purpose. Ilera's consciousness, having guided the process, spoke one last time, her voice resonating through the ship. You have fulfilled my dream, and in doing so, you have ignited a beacon of hope across the stars. My journey ends here, but yours is just beginning. With those words, Ilera's presence faded, leaving behind a legacy that would inspire generations to come. The crew of the Nebula Dancer, once bound by the mission to deliver the device, now found themselves custodians of a new vision, one that transcended borders and species. As the ceremony concluded, Jackson turned to his crew, a new determination in his eyes. The cosmos is vast, filled with worlds waiting for a breath of life. Our mission continues not just as couriers, but as pioneers, as bringers of new dawns. 
The nebula dancer, its engines humming softly, prepared to depart. The moon, a vibrant testament to their success, receded into the distance, a reminder of what had been achieved and the endless possibilities that lay ahead. As they set their course towards the next horizon, the crew knew that their journey was far from over. There were more worlds to awaken, more lives to touch, and more stories to write in the celestial tapestry of the universe. The legacy of the Nebula Dancer and its crew had only just begun, a saga of hope, resilience, and the unyielding pursuit of a future where life thrived in every corner of the cosmos. As they ventured into the unknown, they carried with them the promise of new beginnings, of worlds reborn under the banner of unity and perseverance. And so, with the stars as their guide, they sailed forth into the vastness of space, their hearts alight with the promise of new dawns and the uncharted wonders that awaited them.